Today it's time for a Flat Earth classic. Airplanes and flight routes. Let's start. Many flat earthers try to use flight routes as evidence for flat earth. And of course, it don't work. Let's start this dumpster fire. Uh. Uh. In 2019, I wrote the book called 16 Emergency Landings Proving Flat Earth. That's Flat Earth Banyu, USA, Brazil, Japan or whatever he's called. He made his whole career on Flat Earth with aviation related content. And by many Flat Earthers, he is regarded some kind of expert. This book he's talking about can be downloaded in PDF format at his uh, channel here on YouTube. And I downloaded it and I choose one of many so-called evidence. I choose uh, Air France flight from Paris to Shanghai that did do an emergency landing in Irkutsk in Siberia. I reacted to one part of the text. News channels broadcast images of passengers being kept at the airport and watched by heavily armed officers since they had no visas. Okay, so I did look up this statement. So here is the press release from Air France regarding this event. So did Air France mention these heavily armed officers? In this part they mention what's happened with the passenger. As soon as possible customers were assigned and provided with accommodation in two hotels de designated by the local authorities pending a rerouting solution to Shanghai. Yes, they had to wait three days in hotels because Air France had problems getting new aircrafts. But they were not kept in the airport guarded by heavily armed people. Oh dear. Let's look at his evidence that he claims proves that this flight was a proof of flat earth. Okay, first he compares the Gleason's map with the Mercator projection. A map projection. And on the next page he compared Gleason's map with an image of a globe and a straight line. And it looks like the route would be about the same as the Mercator projection. That can't be true. So, let's have a look using a globe. And here's how it looks on Google Earth. Let's compare with Banyu's images from the book, the Gleason's map and his globe. Oh dear. He didn't compare with a circle route on a globe. What a liar. Let's zoom in on Irkutsk. There you see the straight yellow line is the route for the plane and a bit north of it you have Irkutsk. Let's measure, measure the distance. If they took a sharp left at that place it would be 450 kilometers but I think they deviated from this course earlier on so it 
didn't take any extra time to get there. Flights on the Northern Hemisphere often can correspond quite well on the Gleason's map with reality on the globe. When it comes to the Southern Hemisphere, the flurves get big problems. Then they claim that it's no direct flights between the big continents on the Southern Hemisphere, South America to Africa, Australia to South America, Africa and so on. But they always show uh, flights like this one. This one I also found in Banyos video. It's about the soccer team uh, traveling from Sydney to or Brazil to Sydney and they stopped in Los Angeles. I did have a look at Flight Radar 24 and did find three interesting flights. One over the Indian Ocean and two over the South Pacific Ocean. Let's start looking on those two in the South Pacific. The first one, Oakland, Santiago, and the airline is Latam Airlines and it going southeast from New Zealand. Strange. And this blue one is also Latam and it's going the other way. It's going from Santiago to Oakland and it going southwest. Let's look at these flights on a Gleason's map. And here we see it, they would have to, if they left Santiago, they would have to go northwest, very close to Mexico and uh, close to Hawaii. So in Flatardia, it would be the closest way if they crossed the equator and went up to the northern hemisphere and then down to the southern again. Let's have a look at the third flight, this one in the southern part of Indian Ocean. So this is Qantas going from Sydney to Johannesburg. Let's zoom in so we can see where they were when I took this screenshot. The islands northwest of the airplane is Kerguelen Islands and it's located 49 degrees south. So the plane is 50 degrees south. If we compare this with Johannesburg and Sydney, Johannesburg is 26 degrees south and Sydney 33 degrees south. Let's have a look on this flight on the Gleason's map. Then the closest route would be through central China, north of parts of India, through Saudi Arabia and down through whole of Africa. So if the earth was flat, why would the plane be down here? I posted a screen capture from this flight on my community tab and did get this comment from Flatsoid. I don't think I need to point out how damn stupid this statement from Flatsoid is. Flatsoid, why would they take this route if the earth was flat? It would be a much longer route. Oh dear. Some years ago Wolfie 6020 sponsored Greater Sapien who did this flight from Sydney to Johannesburg. Greater Sapien, after his most excellent adventure with Critical Think, took Qantas flight QF63 from Sydney to Johannesburg on the 29th of January 2019 and that left at 106 UTC. Jerry had a top-notch seat and the video camera was pointing out the window for 13 hours. He also had a bad elf GPS logging the whole flight that was from a great video by Vers Wolle, who used this GPS data and showed exactly the flight route of this plane. It's an excellent video and I will link it in the description. 
those free flights show very clearly why flat earthers avoid talking about flight routes in the southern hemisphere, why they try to fool their followers that all flight from Australia to Africa, for instance, goes through the northern hemisphere. And when they show any flights, it's not non-stop flights. It's flights where you change planes in destinations on the northern hemisphere. And flat earthers like Banyu have no problem to falsify evidence like this globe on the left side here. It's not a circle road on a globe. I'm still in Poland, quite close to the Ukrainian border. If you want to help me help Ukraine with drones, please use PayPal. I will deliver some more drones in a couple of days. I'm not sure when I will be back in Sweden, but I will try to make some more videos when I'm here. Uh, so. I don't know when I will be back, but uh, this was all for this time. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice weekend all. Bye.